Today I'm going to talk about the round chisel or round drill. It's a very helpful and versatile tool. So if you're interested, keep watching this video. So the roundel is a chisel that doesn't have a specific place in the process of carving a sculpture. It can be used either as an intermediary tool as well as a finishing tool. It really comes down to the preferences of the sculptor. It can be used both for rough or smooth work. And the rounded shape of its cutting edge can be seen as an efficient compromise between the shape of the pointed chisel and of the flat chisel. So if used for a rough work, it will remove quantities of stone larger than those removed with a flat chisel because the round shape will allow it to enter deeper into the stone, but not as deep as with a point chisel. But when used carefully, it's also very well suited for delicate areas since it has no sharp edges that might catch on anything or leave scratches on the side. And it's especially well suited for carving hollow forms because its shape perfectly fits the curves. Occasionally it's also used for putting texture on the stone surface, for example skin or trees. The basic shape of the roundel is similar to that of the flat chisel except that its cutting edge is curved rather than flat. The Italian name of the chisel is unghietto, which means small nail. And as you can see, it does resemble a fingernail. Like most chisels, it's a metal handheld tool of 20 to 25 centimeters in length, and its diameter varies between one and two. And like any other chisels, they come both in hardened steel and carbide. As you can see, roundels come in various sizes, and the curve of the cutting edge can vary considerably in shape from a semi-circle to a barely noticeable curve. An issue that you might encounter is that roundels are not always available on the market. That depends on your supplier of stone carving tools. What you can do to overcome this problem is buy a few flat chisels and then reshape them to roundels on the bench grinder. I'll show you how to do this in another episode dedicated only to this process. Okay guys, so as with any other chisel, depending on their size and the type, whether carbide or metal, you would use a different kind of hammer. Um, you could use either the synthetic hammers or the metal ones. And depending on the type of work that you want to do, you will adjust the angle with which you use the chisel. So, for example, if you want to do the rough work, you would hold the chisel at an angle of about 60 degrees because the steep angle will allow the chisel to enter deeper into the stone and you will be able to remove more material. Let me show you. So you see that I was able to remove a lot of stone with that technique. The angle of the chisel was pretty high and the blows were quite strong. But if you lower the angle of the chisel and you gently tap it, you will see that you will be able to clean the surface of the stone in a much more delicate way. And it goes like this. Thank you for watching this video. I hope the information I shared was useful. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, leave them below. I'll be more than happy to check them out for you and I'll see you next time.